welcome back to the Idrisian Kingdom campaign. Now, things got a little bit messy in the last episode. Let's see here. How do I want to play this? I always have to kind of remind myself what I'm doing. Okay, I think I was going to fight this battle out here, probably. Ready for battle. Okay, to do that, I think these guys just retreated. On the move, lads. So, let's go ahead and send the artillery army in first. Realistically, I should probably just auto-resolve this, I think. I think my armies will be okay if I just auto-resolve. Losing 10%, that's alright. We'll go balanced and hopefully it doesn't kill any stupid units here. Why? Why is the artillery getting wrecked? I... It's like I'm sending the artillery crew into melee or some shit. So dumb. Wait, I thought they just... Whatever. Do I chase them down or do I leave them? I think I have to send you guys back into the settlement to try and get some replenishment. We can send the Fury off. Because they've got the movement range to retreat after. Send the Fury in, wipe them out. See, this is part of why I manually resolve so many battles, is because the AI is just really freaking stupid. Um, let's see, it's winter this turn. I want to get out here to help out with those guys, but I'm hesitant to go over here just yet. Do I have a spy nearby? I can scope out the area and see any armies real quick. I do have a spy nearby. The problem is I can't check over here, and if I remember right, these guys just declared war on me as well. Okay, let's send the spy up here for a minute. Okay, it's a good thing I checked, because if I had gone there, these guys would definitely have chased me down, and almost certainly have killed me. That said, I could actually probably make it across this river, because one of their armies could chase me, but the other one could not. And then if I retreat, I should be out of their reinforcement range. Of course, then the Galatians could attack me. Uh, let's play it a little safe for now. Let's drop back into our territory. We're still out of range of an attack from these guys. And we can't quite fortify, so we'll just sit here for a turn. Let's see, realistically I need one, two, three, four, five armies on this front. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I'm thinking if I can take Tyros and Hatra, maybe even this city. then I can hold a front along here without having as many weird angles to have to defend from. Because if I hold it like this right now, then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities on the front line. Whereas if I push up here, I've got one, two, three, four, five cities on the front line. So it'd be a lot easier to defend if I take Tyros, Hatra, and this one may not be necessary, but it could be helpful, I think. We'll see how we go over there. Alright, so are we managed on the eastern front? I believe so. Okay, let's check out over here. I think we're just going to let Carthage hang on to that, because I don't want to be losing the population out of these cities all the time, and I don't think their garrisons are strong enough to withstand a proper attack. Okay, we did just take Genua back, so our western front should be handled if I've already done that. I think we were just sitting pretty for a minute while we are 
kind of regrouping over here. Alright. You. What do we want you to do? Can you hit one of these armies and keep them from moving, or is there just... Yeah, there's just not realistically any chance of that happening, so let's just deploy you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can only have six. Is that right? Six governors. Okay, so we don't need to hire anyone there. Funky's field men get to just chill out for a minute. The pillagers are not in a fortified stance, but that's because they're in the settlement. Heralds of Death on defense, Grumpy's Guard. And they just take the... no. Maybe they just took that city, I don't remember. The spears are on defense, Blunt's Bandits are on defense. Okay, so it looks like everyone's good to go. Let's double check our provinces. Our income is quite bad right now. It's manageable, but it's certainly not where I want it to be. Okay, a lot of our public order issue here is from military presence. There don't appear to be enough armies over here to... Uh, launch a two-stack attack. So I don't think there's any chance Galatia will, Galatia will attack us by themselves over here. I hope they don't disband any more of my generals. Narbonensis is fine. Cispolina is not great. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're not making a ton of money, but we are in the positive. And we have a pretty huge treasury right now. So we should be totally fine for money for a long time. Okay, it looks like public order and our settlements in general are doing alright. Let's double check, see if we can do anything about loyalty, see if anyone needs to get married. Uh, if she's got enough influence, we'll probably have her get married. But this guy is 18, so we'll have him get married first. Yeah. Make sure I wasn't working on getting any of these up to level 4. Okay, so we're working on her. Go ahead and send you... To where... Sicilia, I think. That'll jump her up to tier 4. How's our taxes looking? Our taxes are actually lower right now, so that's why our income is so low. Okay, if we were to lose 100% of our income, we would still have enough money to last for nearly 6 turns. Not quite 6 turns, so we're doing good there. Okay, have it be a calm end turn, no attacks. My apologies, I usually mute myself when I'm drinking, but that time I forgot to hit the button. I usually go through two liters of water a day, and so a lot of that is generally while I'm recording this campaign. But I think I've been pretty good about not making annoying drinking noises. I don't know, no either way.
it's a bit of a weird subject for conversation in the middle of a grand campaign, but, you know, sometimes when the end turn is a little bit boring, these things happen. Now, I am a little bit worried about Parthia, because their turn took a while, so I'm thinking they may have done some damage to us with their agents. Oh, no. Okay, that's not too bad for us. That's not too big of a deal, either. Ready for orders. I need these guys down here so that they can defend Terrico, because as soon as we've got Terrico defended, we can start rotating our troops over into this area. Okay, a 17 stack versus a healthy 20 with artillery. I should probably be able to chase them off. But I want to get this guy in the army first. So rather than chasing them this turn, we'll go ahead and get the military training now. Because the problem is if I attack, like if I put them in here, it takes away all their movement range. But if I come out here and attack, I can't put them in for that battle. And I would like to have him there for that battle. Okay, let's chase these guys off. And let's just get rid of them entirely. Don't need any of that rebellion crap. We're actually taking remarkably heavy losses here. Yeah, over here, this is why I have to keep an army at all of these port settlements. Carthage is very, very good at recapturing ports because their navies are so strong. That being said, do they have any navies within range? Okay, so they actually have a really, really healthy presence at Ibasum right now. Do they have any fleets within range? I don't think they do. So I think I could actually probably leave Terrico just to get my forces rotating down here sooner rather than later. I'm going to play it slow and play it safe instead, though. because we have a lot of money invested here. We're starting to get some population built up, so I'd rather not lose all of that progress. Now, Genua might be a bit of a problem for a while. Let's go ahead and just hop along over to Massalia. That's put public order into the positive in Cispolina. These guys will still get some pretty good replenishment. 41 men. 49 men replenished in one turn. I'm just surprised they lost that many. Okay, these are our allies, but unfortunately they're just sitting around instead of being on the front line helping. Alright, let's see what the deal is out east. Wait, was I building something in here? I guess not. I thought for sure I was doing something different in this province. Whatever. Alright. So let's see. They liberated Tyros, which means it basically destroyed the garrison. It gave them most of an army, a tiny sort of fleet presence. So honestly, we should probably just go take that city right now. can't quite reach that city with the raiders, but we can push this little army out of the way and let Bendy's chosen. You know what? Maybe we can reach with the raiders, it's just not working because this army's in the way. Okay, well, go chase them out of the way. Wow, he's not even going to retreat, that's fine. I should have fought that battle, huh? Yeah, I'll just get rid of that guy. Okay, now, Tyros. If they hate me, I'm just going to declare war on them and get rid of them right off the bat. 
Yeah, that's fine. Would they accept non-aggression? No? Okay, well. They are allied with Pergamon? What? Pergamon? Break that alliance. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, this way we can have a healthier army. I will definitely actually fight this, because I've been excited to use this army. Well, it's not going to be a great battle, but I think, I think I'll still fight it. You guys... I'm probably going to send over here to try and get a little bit of replenishment. They would probably replenish better in this city, because the population is increasing. But I'm going to send them up here because I do still need some kind of defense. Okay, you lot. Okay, we have the movement range necessary to deal with those guys. That's only going to take 50% of the Fury's movement range, which is good news. These guys didn't go anywhere, which is even better news. Blunds bandits, take it to... Oh, I thought these guys had artillery. I don't know why I thought that. In any case, chase them off. Once they've left, we're still in range with that army. This leaves us with plenty of movement range for Blunt's Bandits. Go ahead and run them down. And... I think we'll be okay if we just auto-resolve this one. I don't think we'll take any, like, major, major casualties here. Okay, it took some pretty heavy losses on those units, but everyone else is super healthy. I'm kind of okay with that. These guys got hired partially because they're a little bit cheaper. And that should be that army dealt with. Now, in this province, we don't really have any good... Uh, mercenary options. So let's go ahead and drop back. Let's just go all the way into the city, I think. See what kind of replenishment we can get for these guys. 46 men per turn. We do have some recruitment available. And we have some decent mercenaries available as well. So I will go ahead and merge these guys out. Hell, I could probably merge this out, too, and then just disband it, get that extra warrior population put into this city. But as it stands, we'll leave that army. Got plenty of horse in here. I think I'll just hire some more of these swords. I always like to have a really strong front line. It is important to me. You guys, I don't think Dura has the population <clears throat> quite yet to allow Candy's Conquerors to replenish. So we'll give them another turn in Edessa, especially where it doesn't look like there's any other armies. Nah, let's, let's just go down here. It'll be alright. They will still get a tiny bit of replenishment, but obviously not nearly as much. Okay. So we've almost actually got our front line established out here. I'm actually going to bring this spy over here and figure out where their second army is, because I'm certain they have another one somewhere. And if it's not at the city, I may actually take these guys out right now. Man, these guys are replenishing slow. But they're really cheap units, so I'm kind of okay with them dying. So what I think I'll do here is I will surround the city. 
besieging settlement. And then attack these guys. Hopefully they run away because they're outmatched. Good. Now, if I chase them down, will I still be reinforced? I don't know that I will. But if I attack here, they will still reinforce each other. You know what? I think that's good enough odds that we can accept that. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, what kind of casualties did we take? Our infantry got thrashed. Cavalry hardly got touched. Okay, good to know. We need more infantry out here. We do already have one settlement in this province, so I don't want to loot it. And I don't want to raise it because it massacres the population, so we'll just occupy. Now the king has enough movement range to fortify immediately after. <clears throat> Over here, I can actually recruit right off the bat. That's pretty nice. And there's actually a lot of warriors already here. That's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and just merge these guys up. That's unfortunate, but we'll just disband them. Okay, we're down to 15. Let's hire those guys immediately, and then... I mean, these guys are kind of crappy. But I think they'll hold up better under sustained missile fire. Thracian spearmen, the only problem with them is they don't get javelins. Hmm. We'll go ahead and pick up some of these guys and some of these guys, though. I'll just convert the buildings out here. Go ahead and boost that up. We're probably going to end up with a rebellion here, but I think we can handle it. There's their second army. Or, not their second army, but... Is that really the same army? Because if they retreated, they should have all died. You know what? If that's the case, let's just run these guys down right now. Hopefully that's their last army. Action destroyed, please. Nope, okay. For the it's alright. Starting out. You may as well get settled in, lads. Okay, defense for spears versus campaign movement range. Let's go defense for spears. <clears throat> and some more infantry skill. Because we need our infantry to be able to survive as much as possible. I don't want to replace you, that was a misclick. Sure, let's get that. Ready for orders. <clears throat> All right, where is their last army? We can find out by doing this. All right, so they're all the way down there. Sorry, give me just a second here. Ah, I had to try and clear my throat there. All right. So Hatra is our next offensive. I think I'm going to want three armies to take this one. It doesn't have a particularly strong garrison, but the extra units will still make a big difference. Especially when they have as many heavy infantry as they do. And with all the, yeah, I'm going to want three stacks to go up against that to keep my odds heavily in my favor. Let's go ahead and fight this.
so their hoplites should be actually somewhat decent against mine because I believe mine are just medium rather than heavy. No, they are heavy phalanx, never mind. So I've got heavy phalanx, they've got medium phalanx. Let's see, I think the main thing I'm a little bit concerned about is their missiles. So what I need to do to get to their missiles quickly is I think I need to spread them out as much as possible. Let's see. We'll put the Spartans on this flank, the Athenians on this flank. Oh, do you know what? We have artillery. I don't need to do that. The artillery should draw them out. I mean, that is probably a pretty impenetrable front line. And it is huge. That is a lot of hoplites. <laughs> this army is kind of not built very well, I don't think. There's not enough unit variety for them to be balanced. Okay, who has better speed? Because I think I'd actually rather put them on. Okay, so the Athenians, I think, would make for better just standard front line. And the Spartans would do better on the flanks because they're just a little bit faster. So let's actually do this. Archers, you guys can get a little bit denser here. Artillery line up so it looks a little bit neater. Okay, one calf per side, as is pretty standard for me. General in the center, we're going to take him off of fire a will. Oh yeah, these guys need to be on guard mode. I'm shocked that we can't see any of their units yet, I was gonna say. Enemy oh, reinforcements approaching. Um Yeah, hit the general unit right off the bat, why not? Here it comes. They've got four men missing from the unit. After the first volley, they now have 13 men missing, so that's not bad. We've got enough ammo, let's just keep peppering them, why not? I mean, if he's just going to sit there and take it, our artillery isn't exactly accurate. Because they're still such, they have such low veterancy. But I mean, we'll still shoot through them pretty quick. Okay, let's go ahead and hold fire on that note. See what the AI decides to do here. Whole entire 26 dudes on this boat. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward a bit here. And. See if we can give the artillery a boost to their accuracy by having them closer to their target. I'll tell you what, watch an army's maneuver in this game. I just don't think it'll ever get old. It just looks cool. Interesting that they do have a unit of very heavy phalanx back here. So that would be a much better target for the artillery, I think. That hill makes my lines look all sorts of screwed up, but they're only slightly out of turn there. By your command. I mean, if they're going to let me, I'm just going to move right up into it. You guys go ahead and just go delete that unit real quick. No need to be shy about it. 
Okay, but you know what? We do not need to go that far forward. We're almost in range from here. We are in range here. Let's go ahead and take them out now. I was hoping to prevent them from shooting at all, but I mean... Their little 26 arrows is probably not going to get any kills before they get evaporated. This is going to take a lot more ammo than I would like, but... I'd rather just delete their skirmishers as quickly as possible. Because it's just annoying to get shot. You know. They're not actually going to do much damage to me, but I don't want my guys to get shot. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure everyone is in phalanx in case they charge out. And I don't notice because I am messing around with artillery. Eh, go ahead and give them another volley. Not a particularly good volley there. Five kills? I wasn't paying enough attention to how many were in this unit before I shot. Again, not particularly accurate shooting, but not particularly problematic either. We'll go ahead and hit these guys now. Full healthy unit. Can you imagine? Just waiting. Just waiting for those giant rocks to come crashing into your unit. I definitely would not have the discipline to stay in formation if I was getting shot at by artillery. Alright, whatever, we fooled around long enough, let's get in there. I would prefer to surround them and kill them, because obviously it's just a more efficient way of dealing with enemy hoplites. But you can't always get what you want, you know. You know what, let's actually change tactics here a little bit. You guys go over here, and you guys start moving out here. Do you know what? There's no sense keeping cavalry over there. Let's just move them both over here. Bowman! Archers, go ahead and move up to this position. If I can get them to charge out to meet me, that would be ideal. Glad I caught that. That would have been really annoying if my cav ran right through the middle of the city. Okay, it looks like they are going to just sit and wait still, which is fine with me. You guys are kind of taking your sweet time getting in position, but I mean, you are heavy phalanx infantry, so you're allowed to be a little bit slow. Artillery, just kidding. Quit moving. Shoot these guys. Because they have missiles for sure. Unfortunately, since I gave a move order, my guys have to reload the artillery pieces now. So it just takes a little bit longer to shoot. Really good first volley, though. I'm happy with that. You guys help out with them. You guys go ahead and form your phalanx. Okay, we're spreading them out a little bit. The enemy general is dead. Okay, there goes the head of Ooh, getting some good shots into that grouping. Just go ahead and keep playing it slow until we get where we want to be. Yeah, once we get our positions set up. 
to our liking, then we can start going in. Okay, we are starting to get shot though, so we need to be a little bit quick about this. Who's getting shot? These guys in the middle by this unit, I would assume. Shooting them on the left side, so it's not going to be super effective. Is it maybe them? No, I was going to say they should be well out of range. Bowman! These guys seem to have pretty good discipline. And you know what? Now that they're out of ammo, let's not even bother shooting them anymore. That's fine. Bring the artillery up a little further. And then once the Spartans get in position, we will start engaging. Because this unit will be way too slow to catch my cavalry as long as I'm being intelligent with my micro, so I should be able to just eliminate their missiles very, very easily. Okay, we're going to do this. Match their formation width, charge into them, and then form phalanx. Have some reinforcements ready to go. If I can get them to charge into me, that would be preferable. Alright, whatever. Just get in there, guys. Just get in there. Okay, got a little bit of a charge. Obviously it's not going to be super effective, but we did catch them while they were moving, which is good. Okay, you guys go ahead and set up. You guys start moving on in. No need to put them in phalanx. You guys can actually come out of phalanx as well. Okay, you know what? They might be charging me here. Oops, too many orders there. Okay, match their formation quickly, gentlemen. Okay, charge their formation. Let the charge play out a little bit. And then go ahead and form phalanx, give a fresh attack order. Archers, have you got anything important to shoot? Not really. Okay, you guys come out of phalanx, start working in the flanks. I don't know why that's so satisfying to say. Okay, artillery, where is a good target for you? I'm not going to bother shooting their missiles because I just don't think they're that much of a threat against our heavily armored guys. Uh, I'm just going to shoot their general, whatever. Okay, our formation is a little bit screwy here, but rather than moving it, I think I'll just leave it for now. Need to give some attack orders here on the front to get my guys through quickly. Because that one unit of Spartans that's on the front is going to get surrounded. Okay, let's actually take them out of Phalanx because they're losing so badly. They're surrounded, so we need to take them out of Phalanx and just let them fight free. You guys go ahead and charge forward. You guys charge forward. You guys charge forward. Artillery's out of ammo. These guys are doing what they can. Whoa! Okay, these hoplites are not performing as well as I had hoped. This unit needs to get out of here. They are not going to survive. Okay, charge them down. Just get them off the field quickly. Okay, General, get over here. Man alive, this whole unit might die. That would be sad. Okay, we need to get someone in to help them out. Okay, you guys disengage and come back around here because they're going to rout and then be stuck in the middle of all of these enemies. Okay, you guys haul ass. Get through here. Hell, even you guys start coming around. 
You guys go ahead and just reform, and you guys break form and charge. General, come save the day over here. Okay, I had hoped that these units would be a little bit stronger in melee than they are turning out. But they're still doing the job. Their morale is holding, which is incredible to me. Attack orders out here. Eh, you guys can just turn around, that's fine. Okay, the general ran off the other unit. These guys are still holding somehow. I don't properly know how. I'm gonna leave the cavalry in. I want the routes to happen quickly. Okay, now they're starting to waver, which is when things start to get dangerous for them. Because when they shatter, well, they kind of do have a retreat lane available. They're actually gaining morale because they're no longer surrounded. Okay, you know what, since they're not surrounded anymore, try and reform. Fall back, set your phalanx. Yeah, you're probably going to route now that I pulled you out of combat like that. Yeah, there they go. But at least I think they'll get out of there. Okay, very, very, very poor army management here. Okay, we may need to start forming some phalanxes back here. Okay, on the side where we're hitting them in the back, we need to break phalanx. These guys are still doing fine. These guys are all starting to rout. Okay, you guys go ahead and reset a little bit. Break that unit. Just get them out of here. Okay, that's that unit dealt with. You guys try and pull back a little bit. Actually, realistically, these guys shouldn't engage anymore. Okay, let's get the cavalry all the way out of there so they don't just get trapped. Okay, that's actually an opportunity for us to get in behind them right there. Go ahead and put you guys in phalanx just to help you with your survivability. Not a particularly good charge, but it should be good enough to help them off the battlefield. Everyone out here, just go ahead and mob them, whatever. They should route pretty quick when they're mobbed like that. Especially where like all of the rest of their army is basically gone. All right, so really, really, really poor army management by me. I don't do very well when I spread my forces out, so maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. But I mean, I guess if you look at that, even being completely surrounded, they still did really well. 
they still just about went one for one on kills. And they probably lost like 30 men when they routed and tried to pull out. Actually, no, they didn't because they were already sort of out of combat when they routed. These guys that were fighting next to them, I mean, those guys did great. Yeah, this army will be all right. I think with them I just need to be careful to not be too aggressive with the phalanx. Because they can fight okay out of phalanx. They're just not quite... They're obviously not going to be as impenetrable from the front. Is Tyros in the same province as any of my other land? I don't think it is. Because I think it's Tyros, Jerusalem, and then the island out here. Let's loot it. Ready for battle. Hey, more armies. I'm going to do that immediately. Okay, I was right about the province. I should really pay more attention to that when I'm initiating battles. Okay, the raiders have gained a level. I'm not going to merge them if I can avoid it. Attack for spears and campaign movement range. I mean, for hoplites, what more can you ask? And then increase defense and armor. Let's just make these guys like unbreakable. Give them all the morale boosts. I could do with an agent out here. Wait, can I hire a new agent because of Imperium? Heck yeah, that is such good timing. Okay, minus upkeep, plus one zeal. Income from raiding and minus upkeep. Okay, we're going to go with this one here. Uh, She'll pop this. into that army shortly. Oh. That looks a little dicey. Ready for battle. But we don't really have particularly good mercenaries available. Obviously, we can't really hire anyone. I could get a unit of elephants. I could merge down some Spartans and get a unit of elephants. I'd rather keep the Spartans, though, just because they're cool. It's probably a really stupid way to make decisions, but whatever. Okay. <sighs> we can finally get some extra armies. I'm kind of hesitant to recruit the extra armies, though, because I think if I lose a city, I lose the armies. Because I go back down, like, I decrease the amount of armies I can have, and so it'll just delete random armies from my nation so I think I'll actually wait for a couple of turns now now that I've given it a moment to be considered did I already move these guys yes oh yeah I did the western front forever ago battles always throw off my perception of what's going on in a campaign or in an episode I mean okay they definitely need some replenishment I'm not expecting to lose a city this turn, though. And I am expecting to... Actually, I don't think I am expecting to take a city next turn. Because I'm not within range of any other cities with any of my armies. Ready for battle. Warriors on. Yeah, I'm still going to wait on hiring more armies. Of course, that being said, I could hire an army at Syracuse, take Akragas back. I would own this province. I could have an army in Panormos, an army in Akragas, and then the beginnings of an army in Syracuse. Uh-oh. Oh no. What happened? Okay, that had me scared for a minute. I don't even know if it was glitch or if I was just being dumb. Maybe it's because my FPS dipped so bad for a second. You know what? Let's go ahead and 
wait for another turn. I think that's the smarter thing to do. Just wait for another turn, see how things play out in this end turn. Because I'm not in desperate need of another army right now at the front. It will just be very, very helpful once I have extra armies. Because what I'll probably do is get an extra army up here so I can have a twin stack kind of in this region to protect from any attacks like that. One here with the garrison to defend. So that'll be three, and then four, five, six, seven. Wait, I already have seven armies over here, don't I? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I already have seven armies over here. Maybe what I can do is recruit an army up here, because I still don't feel very safe back here. And I haven't exactly been keeping an eye on the Parthians. I've just been kind of hoping that they don't attack this direction, because if they do, I'll be in major trouble. Yeah, so I might actually recruit an army and have it play defense up here, even though it would be probably a little bit of a waste. And then I'll have the second extra army here to resecure this province. Because I think I've got enough out here for now that I can have my offensive and be fairly effective. I think. Of course, that being said, I have to defend all of these pretty much individually because of how strong Carthaginian fleets are. So every port settlement I take basically needs to keep an army in it. At least until I'm confident that Carthage doesn't have any fleets near enough to attack. I'm almost tempted to sneak these guys over here instead of going into Spain, but I think that's probably just a bad idea. Not exactly sure how to handle that situation anymore. The idea of getting extra... Well, what I mean by that is I'm not exactly sure how is the safest, most intelligent way to attack in here. Because movement can be a bit of a pain, especially towards this city. This city is very, very annoying to deal with because it's just hard to get to, it's hard to hold. It's got weird choke points leading to it. Because there's a lot of different angles in this area that the enemy can use to approach any of these cities. that's almost enough for this turn. Let's check and see if anyone that needs an increase in rank. No, nope, we're good there. Provincially, we're at least somewhat secure. Let's go ahead and boost this up while we're at... Uh, Thapsicos isn't directly defended yet, so maybe not Maybe not just yet. Nah, it'll be, it'll be okay. We'll do that. Narbonensis is only in the negative because it has an army stuck in it right now. Hispania, don't need to worry about just yet. Things are actually looking pretty good. I feel mostly in control right now. If I can get a really, really strong defensive line established here, I'll feel a lot better about things. Because once I can secure Spain, this should get significantly easier. Because that's just, like, virtually an entire front that I don't have to focus very much on, and I can start getting into Africa. Because Africa is actually relatively easy to take, because it's very, very linear with the exception of this area, of course. And obviously down here, but we won't talk about that until we get there. 
which isn't going to happen for a long time. Okay, we're still waiting a turn over here. Alright, I've messed around enough. Let's go ahead and check it. I say I've messed around enough, and then I go messing around again. I was going to get that one chick married, wasn't I? Where are you? There you are. Was it her, or was it her? She has more influence, so maybe her. But if they're the same age, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much. Whatever. As far as this goes, our influence looks like it's starting to build itself naturally here. I am going to recruit the extra spy and governor, though, while I'm thinking about it. Let's get them out here to start getting public order up. Syria seems as good a choice as any. Oh, the other thing I can do is an edict. I didn't realize I got a new edict ava available. Okay, let's go ahead and pop it down in Italia. Italia's public order is fine, so let's do tax collect tribute collection. I was going to call it tax harvesting, but that's not what it is in DEI. Or rather, it's not what it's called. Okay, I could do with the growth... I could do with the public order and tax rate probably more, though. Okay, and let's go ahead and just move you up here so you're a little bit away from the city. Oh, nice. You actually start with some free experience. A lot of free experience. Heck yeah. Let's actually go with the military overseer on this guy. She's not even a guy on this chick, this governor. <laughs> And then I had another spy I could recruit. Let's get them out here. Because I need to see what's going on out in Spain. I don't really care what any of these are. Campaign movement range, I guess, is about the only one that'll actually convince me. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, was it last turn or this turn that I put the agent in there? Because I do want to attack that. All right. Finally, after enough messing around to, like, end the world or some shit, my income is basically zero now. Let's go ahead and go through this one. Man alive, that took me long enough. And I forgot to deploy. Damn it! Now is the time for peace. Surely even you can see this. You can bet your ass I'm taking that. We'll be back at war with them as soon as they build their forces back up and declare war on me again. But this lets me focus on the Arverni. Get your stupid agent away from my army. Please fail. Just fail. Damn you. I swear to God, if I just lost another general, I'm going to be so annoyed. In my Roman campaign, I really haven't had to deal with enemy agents at all. And I think it's just because I so quickly and effectively have obliterated everyone I've gone to war against recently that agents haven't really been a factor. I also played the Roman campaign very much more cautiously. Subjugation. Okay, that I'm okay with. Okay, I'm gonna get this person deployed immediately. Who did they harass? Just these guys, that's fine. See, the, these guys... Well, anyway, I should just end this episode. I'm going to get that other agent deployed first before I forget. 
Where are you? Over here. Okay, um, just go there. It doesn't really matter where you are as long as you're kind of out in the open. It just makes it easier for me to see where my agents are when they're not all clumped together with cities and things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Finally, we've gotten peace with one of these major factions, and that's going to really help us take down some of our enemies quickly, I hope. I'm hoping I can just blitz the Arverni and get rid of their last two settlements within the next maybe six turns. Because I'm sure Carthage will be back to war with us shortly. So I need to take out these settlements and be in position to hold this front in the meantime. Alright, well, that's enough for this episode. If you guys are enjoying, keep enjoying it, and we'll see you in the next one.